Before starting the thermal denaturation analysis, make sure that the file you have opened is CD plotted as a function of temperature. Now we can go to Processing, Common Options, Denaturation Analysis. First we need to enter the temperature range of denaturation. We can do so by either manually entering the temperatures here, or clicking the boxes and moving the lines to the plateaus a little before and after the CD increases. Then click Calculate. The results of the denatured protein analysis are shown to the right. The range of denaturation are the temperatures specified earlier. The fitting line of the stable range are the parameters for the approximation curve where the CD values change linearly. You also can obtain a standard deviation of the fitting curve, as well as the melting temperature with its associated error, the change in enthalpy with its associated error, and the change in entropy with its associated error. The View options allow you to select whether you would like to see the fitting line, the TM line, or the fitting curve, which are all shown on the bottom figure. The fitting line is the line of the stable range and are shown by the yellow bars. The melting temperature line is the vertical red line indicating the denaturation temperature. Confidence intervals can be obtained by selecting fitting curve. You can also choose what units to display your data in for either temperature or energy. Selecting original data plot CD as a function of temperature, while selecting denaturing data shows a Van Hoff plot where the natural log of the equilibrium constant is plotted as a function of the inverse temperature. You can also choose to print your data by selecting Print.